Okay, hello, Spaceman here again. Uh, I'm just uh, going to give another demonstration on this cell. Um, basically, I just wanted to show I've made three plates, sets of plates up now. They're just three 16 stainless, uh, three mil plates, 50 by 200 and 20 mil long. Um, I've just used a piece of wire to link them together. The two outside are positive with a center plate as a, a negative and two neutrals in between. So I sort of like uh, put them in series. What that has allowed me to do now is that um, when I had the one plate set of plates, I could only go up to about 80 volts on the variac before I hit um, around 9 amps. Now, with the three plates in series, I'm able to go to 120 volts or more if I want. Um, before I reach that 10 amps, but I'll just give you a demonstration of what it does now at 120 volts, ten, um, 7 amps. Alright, here we go. As you can see, there's a hell of a lot of bubbles coming up off that. It's probably not the easiest thing to film, but as you can see in the top of it. There is a lot of, lot of bubbles coming out of that. Okay. Now, um, as I said, this is only these plates are new. They're not conditioned yet or anything either. So I mean, they're only going to get better. That's running at uh, 120 volts through me uh, 8xA cell circuit from Tony Woodside. Uh, running through that coil that I got out of me power ups unit, and as I say, I'm only at seven amps there. Um, I'll take it up to about eight amps, I think, and we'll just see how much more we get out of it. Well, maybe nine. Okay, so now I can come up to nine amps. There's no electrolyte in the water either, okay. I'm at 140 volts now on the barrier. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. And that's the gas I'm getting out of it. Uh, what I wanted to comment about that coil while I'm here, this coil here, what what um, I've noticed is that biphilia coil, very heavy gauge wire this too, by the way. I'll try and capture that a bit for you. So sort of see there, it's real heavy duty wire. But one side of it, when I put 12 volts to that and pulsed it, I was getting 2 volts out of one side of my bifilia side of the coil and 22 volts out of the other. So obviously that is not wrapped evenly. Okay, I think it's about, you know, it must be like 10 to 1 ratio or something. And But this is definitely gas gas hydrogen gas coming out of this and very clean very good bang you listen yeah very good <laughs> so anyway i'm just going to put this on the net give you a look at it. i think that coil as i say is very important using the heavy gauge wire but very interesting when i swap those around um, i get a lot more production using the positive or the negative sorry on the you know higher higher wrapped coil and the one I'm getting more voltage out of um, and the positives on the one that I was getting only two volts from when I was doing that test so if that helps anyone I had a few people ask me a few questions about the coil That one definitely blocked the ears a bit. <laughs> anyway, I better go. Um, that's all for now. Space Man out.